Hey guys, happy Friday. So, wanted to put this video up today. I've had this conversation twice today and several times in the last week. And it's about the hats, the business, the hats we wear, and maybe the ones we shouldn't. So, we're gonna th go through some rolls of some hats today and I'm gonna kinda walk you through if you're in that CEO position of your business, maybe the ones you shouldn't actually be wearing. So we all have several hats. So let's say that this is my CEO hat. And so when I put this hat on, I'm really the visionary for the business. I'm looking at the long-term goals. I'm looking at the overall structure and how things are running. And that's really my focus for the business when I have this hat on. But let's say I have a need to take this hat off because now marketing comes into play. And now I put on my marketing hat and I'm sitting in the marketing role and I'm looking at the marketing and I'm tracking my ROI on the marketing and I'm laying out the marketing plan and the budget and the things for the marketing that I need to do. And oh, wait, now we've got to put on my customer service hat because now I have to deal with customer service and now I've got to address the clients and now I've got to talk to them about the things that maybe they're having an issue with. Maybe we need to address something. I've got to put that on. Oh, but wait, in the middle of that, we've got our CFO hat. We've got to put on the hat that allows us to crunch the numbers, to look at the numbers, to look at the profitability in business, to run all that data piece of things. Sorry, my dog's gonna knock us over here. Run all the data piece of things in the business to really be able to function and be able to do that. So you've got your CEO or CFO hat, but then, you have your worker bee hat where you're actually taking the work and you're doing the production piece of it. You're serving the clients. You're actually implementing the service and completing the process. But wait, there's more. Now we put on our networking hat and now we're out networking and we're mingling and we're meeting people and we're talking about what we do and we're getting to know people and we're doing all of this. But, then we switch to our hat of who we are as a person outside of the business. And as you can see, all these different hats, not all of them fit me. This one's quite large. This one's a little tattered and not even mine. This one I feel like I rock, so we're just gonna rock it here. <laughs> um, but we have all these different hats. As I, and as you can see, as I was going through that, like. We jump and we jump and we jump and we jump and we jump. And we're never staying in one role and wearing the same hat long enough to really be productive in that role in our business. And so what I want to encourage you about today as we're going, as we're talking about this and the hats we wear is maybe looking at the ones you shouldn't wear. And this was the conversation I was having with someone today is how hard it is to let go of some control in our business when it's our baby. Our business is our baby. We went through infancy phase where we were barely making it by, like we weren't even sure if we were gonna make it. Then we hit that toddler phase. We're like, okay, we've made it. The business is alive. We survived those first couple years, but now I don't know if I wanna do it. This is hard crap and looking and you know, then you get into the teenage phase where you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even wanna do this. And then you have the young adult and the adult and it is our baby. Like we watch it grow and evolve and change through life and the courses here. And if in business you want a business that is truly going to succeed and truly fuel your life and allow you to not only have the best quality of life, but have your business fuel that, you've got to learn to give up some of these hats. For example, I don't look great in orange, and I know that. So I should give away my orange hat to somebody that does. Orange being a metaphor. Marketing. Maybe you are not great at marketing, and you spend a lot of freaking time there in your business. Give it away. Let somebody else handle it. Find someone you trust in that role to function with that piece of things. Maybe it's the CFO. And I don't know what hat I had on earlier, so don't judge guys, but maybe it's the CFO hat. Maybe you hate the finance and the data piece of your business. Maybe you hear that and you just like want to rip your hair out. You get so frustrated. Like you just can't handle that piece. Throw it out. Give it to somebody that can manage that. 
find the person you trust to handle that and oversee it and keep you in the loop and give you the important pieces of information that you need. Maybe it's the customer service hat. We're not all entrepreneurs because we like people, right? Some of us are entrepreneurs because we're really good at what we do. I have some clients who are engineers and they hate the customer service aspect of their job. Get rid of it. Hire someone to do it. Let somebody else take on that role. Maybe it's the worker bee. Maybe it's actually producing the results for your clients. Maybe you are phenomenal at that, but you can only do so much of it. So at some point, you're gonna have to take that hat and pass it off. Let somebody else join you in wearing that hat. Let it be a part-time hat for you and a full-time hat for somebody else. Get multiple hats of the same kind. Let there be multiple people in your business that perform that function and that service. Maybe your hat that you put on at the end of the day when you leave the business might not be worn enough. Maybe that's a hat that you struggle. But if you put that hat on and your CFO hat and your marketing hat, and I literally threw the other ones away when I said to throw them out and get rid of them. But if you have on all these hats, you start to look funny. You start to look a little bit like this, like you're just a hodgepodge of a mess and you don't really have a good handle on any of them. Take the hats in your business that are not your best area, your best area of expertise. Put that CEO hat on and make that executive decision and be real with yourself of, you know, I, I want to be able to handle the number and the data piece of my business, but it comes second to the marketing and the producing the revenue. And it ends up always getting pushed off and I can't do it. Pass that hat off, put on your CEO hat and say, okay, I need to hire someone to take on that role for my business. Maybe the marketing, like you know you have to do it, but you don't know where to start. Put on the CEO hat, admit that, and find the person that can help you fill that piece in your business. There are so many roles as business owners that we're wearing, or roles that we're filling, so many hats that we're wearing, and not all of them are serving us to the best of our abilities. When we take a hat off and we give it to somebody who wears that hat and rocks it, the benefit it has to your business will well, well go above and beyond the investment you put into that service to have it completed for you. So it really is about taking that CEO hat sometimes and putting on that CEO hat and owning that role sometimes and being real with yourself and saying, I, as much as I want to take that part of my business and be good at it, I'm not. And maybe I need to give that piece of it up. Maybe I need to find the person that fits within my company culture, either as an employee or as a contractor, and I need to find someone to delegate this piece of my business to so that the marketing piece can soar and can bring in new revenue and do that so then I can put on my hat of actually producing the results and doing what I do best. Maybe you need to put on that CEO hat and say, okay, you know, as much as I like working one-on-one -on -one with my clients and being involved in every single client that comes in, Maybe your role in that needs to step back a little bit. Maybe you need to find those people that supplement you, that complement you, that can come in and offer that service very similar to the way you do, and they can work with your clients, and you just get to step in and oversee and handle certain pieces of it and be involved with every single client, but maybe in a smaller capacity to allow you to serve and impact more people. So this is not an easy thing to do. I think being real with ourselves is one of the hardest things, especially in our own business, which is our baby that we have to do, is be able to say, I can't do that. As a mom, I think that's one of the hardest things to ever say is I can't do that. I don't know what I'm doing right there. Like, and there's been times in business where we have to admit that. I've done it for myself. Like been like, I don't have a freaking clue what I'm doing in this piece of it. I need help. 
and it's hard to ask for help, but we've got to do it. And if you want a business that's going to succeed and have an impact well beyond your immediate circle and have an impact that can be nationwide or global or whatever that vision that you have is, if you want that impact that is truly going to create a change in this world and fuel you and fuel your life the way you want to do it, you have to give up some of these roles. If you try to do it all and you try to have control of every single piece of that business, things are going to start to fall through the cracks. I speak from experience on this. You have to be able to give up that control. It's not always about, how do I want to say this? It's not about giving up control to the point where you don't have any control. It's about giving some ownership and delegation to the people that are in that position or can be in that position that can really advance your business forward. The minute you take somebody in your business, whether it's a contractor or an employee, and you tell them, this is my vision, this is what I want, get me there, and you let them take the reins on that and get the, you to that position, they are going to have so much pride around that and so much enthusiasm to actually be able to produce your end result that you don't have to micromanage. And now you've just let go of a little bit of control and you've passed that hat off. And maybe occasionally you grab that hat and you put it back on and you just check in and say, hey, you know, let's look at the marketing. What have we been doing? What's, what's working? What's not working? You know, this marketing, like it's producing results. I know we're getting clients in on it, but I don't like this. Can we tweak this and see what that does? Take that hat back off, put the CEO hat on, and let somebody else take the reins on that and lead with it and go with it. By giving up just a little bit of control and giving somebody some ownership to produce an end result that they can be phenomenal at, your business is gonna soar and impact beyond your wildest dreams. We all start business with this vision of a business that we want. And I think unfortunately very too few are actually out living that dream of their business. It becomes something they're attached to all the time. It becomes um, something they're thinking about in the middle of the night. And if you have this need to constantly be in control of every piece of your business and wear all of those hats, you're going to be tied to your business and that dream business that you started out envisioning that business that we have that you're like, I'm going to work four days a week, 40 weeks a year, and I'm just going to vacation the rest of the time. And I'm going to be home to watch my kids grow up and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Whatever that dream is. I had it eight years ago. I had it. And I'm telling you six years ago, that dream seemed so freaking far off. I wasn't sure I'd ever get there. I'm still journeying, I'm still on my way to that ultimate dream, but the one thing, the one thing that has moved mountains for me in my business in the last two years is letting go of some of the hats that I thought I had to always wear. This does not look like you have your poop in a group and that you've got it together. This looks like you're a hot mess and like trying to do too many things. And as entrepreneurs, I believe we can do a lot of things really great. But I think when we focus on one hat at a time and we pass them off as needed, the impact to your business and to your bottom line is gonna be beyond what you can imagine as you're sitting here right now watching this. So I hope that gave you some insight into a little bit around what we should and maybe shouldn't be doing in our business, where we might need to give up a little bit of control, where we might need to delegate out some things and really just put ourselves in a position that can catapult us towards financial success, business success, life success, whatever it is you want, whatever that perfect business in your perfect world is, you can have. But you've got to start by delegating out some things and taking off some of the hats that you're wearing. I hope everybody has a great Friday. If you found this helpful, I truly, truly, Appreciate you jumping on and if you did find it helpful like share it out ask tag a friend that you think can use this I would love this. this like I said this conversation has come up multiple times this week So I'm sure I'm not the only one that's having these conversations with people So tag people share it out if you really got some value from it drop in some hearts love it. I appreciate it. Everybody have a great weekend